Okay, everybody, I am so excited to be talking about the Marvel Legends X-Men animated series Storm figure, her being my favorite mutant. This was so exciting to get this figure in the mail. Now, I absolutely love how the face looks. It is really detailed well. You can even tell there's a little lipstick on there, and you have the great, iconic Thunderbolt earrings, and the hair looks pretty good. I wish it was down just a little more in the top, but still great. And you get the full look of the hairdo from the 90s series. I think a lot of people are going to really still like this figure because some people aren't crazy about the mohawk. I love the mohawk myself, but I know I'm not in the popular party there. But the detail in the hair is excellent. Absolutely delivers here big time. Now, what you'll also notice, if you see the X-Men 97 figure compared to this Storm, this Storm is way more detailed in the suit. The suit looks just like the animated series. They really go all out with it. And I love how solid the X badges come out here. You can actually see that and the detail put into it. And in the whole suit in general, that goes all the way down to the pants and the legs. Now it's cool that the cape is actually a soft piece here and not a hard piece, which I definitely prefer wrap they have on it. And this is the full look at the cape that it looks really cool in so many different ways of posing it, especially when she lifts her arms up and you can really do the storm effect to it. Now what's also cool about this figure is the top of her torso actually moves really well. So you can do a lot with that. The arms move really good. Not amazing, but good enough for storm, especially in the type of pose a storm would be in. You see this is her main hands that they give you, but there's also another pair of hands which we're gonna get to. And the head moves great for the amount of hair that is on the head. And obviously the facial expression is perfect and the joints on the knees are not pinless the new storm x-men 97 will have pinless joints but these are still cool too i'm still i'm not like one of those people who that's like a game changer and the shoes move great too now a little bit of the downside is i put the hands with the lightning coming out on and it was very difficult to take this part off of the cape and make sure you get this part not to come off the brace and then when I did it this is really sensitive when you pull this so it ripped a little on the cloth so that's a big warning to you if you decide to use the other pair of hands to really take your time taking this cloth off because it's like if you just tug it a little bit it wants to rip but I love how these look these are clearly the better hands with the lightning bolts and what makes this so special this version of Storm is that it has this version with the lightning bolts where the X-Men 97 doesn't have that as an accessory, which is crazy. How do you have Storm without the lightning coming out of her hand? So that is makes this so much more valuable to me and a better figure already, but this is the best hands you can get. They look so cool and the lightning effect is perfect. And the yellow really matches the whole detail in the costume well. I love the figure. Don't mind me ripping some of the cape, that's on me not on the company, but this is one of those figures that, now this I put her on the two peg stands. She stands okay on her own without the stands, but definitely better with the stands for Storm. And there's a the back of the figure with my ripped cape. Now the box is incredible in this series, the VHS effect. I think it's perfect with the art and it's something you don't want to destroy when you get. Even I love they give you a little character details and description and a nice picture shot of Storm. That's how I'd actually pose it when I put it up. But I'd absolutely give this figure high praise. I'd probably give it with the box and the way it looks, everything going on with it. Besides the issue I have with the cape, but that's more on me, I'd give it a nine. And I think it's worth getting. It's 25 at Big Bad Toy Store, which is your best deal for it right now. It's shocking this one isn't sold out yet because Cyclops and Wolverine in that line are sold out and now they're $100 each on the secondary market. So. I would grab this because this will definitely sell out, especially when the new series comes out.